class, welcome back. In the previous video, we went over bond discounts. In this video, we're going to go over bond premiums. All right. Now, before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoy the channel. Please subscribe. Now, for a bond premium, let's just review a couple of things. The premium means that we're going to pay more than the, pri the, the par value for the bond. All right. We're going to use the same example that we had before in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, you want to go back to that because that video explains a lot of the information that you need for this video. So now in this example, we have $100,000 worth of bonds that we're gonna be selling, and the par value will be $1,000. The contract rate or stated or coupon rate is gonna stay the same as in our previous video. Uh, that contract rate will be 6%. The market rate though in this example is gonna be 4%. Okay, so it's less than our contract rate. So then what that's basically saying is that currently in the marketplace, similar bonds would earn 4%, but we're paying 6%. So actually this company is not gonna wanna sell these bonds for $100,000. They're gonna wanna sell them for more than 100,000 because they are basically an attractive investment for people, right? So what we're gonna do right now is calculate what would we sell these bonds for in order to earn that uh, that 4% market rate? So first of all, we'll take the $100,000 because at the end, we have to pay back the $100,000. No matter for what price we sell it for right now, we have to pay back $100,000 at the end. So we're going to take the 100000 and we want to discount this back to the present. So once again, we'll go to table one, which is the present value of a single dollar amount and we'll go down four periods because the 100,000 is still out there four periods. Remember, this is a semi-annual uh, payment of interest. So it's, an, and it's a two-year bond, so that's four periods. So we'll go four periods across and 2% is the market rate. So we'll go down at 2% and we'll get a factor of 0.9238. So now we'll take the $100,000 times 0.9238 and we'll get $92,000. $380. That's the value of the $100,000 in today's dollars. Now we need to do the same thing for the annuity, the $3,000. Remember the $3,000 was calculated this way. We took the 6% contract rate times the value of the bonds, the total par value of the bonds was $100,000. So $100,000 times 6% got a $6,000 but we're paying this every six months. So we have to cut that in half. We're gonna actually pay 3,000 every six months. So 3,000, we need to multiply that by the factor of the present value of an annuity table, which is in our example, table two. So we'll go down four periods and go across at 2% because that's the market rate. Remember the market rate's 4%, but it's paying out at every six months. We have to cut that in half to 2%. So then the factor on this table we'll use is 3.8077. We'll multiply that by the $3,000 to get $11,423. So now we can add that to the $92,380 to get the, the true value of these bonds in today's dollars, which is $103,803. So then, when we sell these bonds, if we sell them for that price, we will debit cash $103,803. We will credit, let's skip down, we'll credit the bonds payable 100,000 because that's what they're gonna pay out at the end in the fourth period, right? At the end of the two years. And then we're also going to credit the premium on bonds payable because the bonds are selling for more than the 100,000. So we're gonna credit that 3,803. Now the bond payable and the premium account, they go together on our financial statement in the balance sheet in the liability section. Now let's take a look at this amortization table. This is a little bit scary, but you know, it makes sense. Just let's take it line by line. So you can see at the top there, top right, the value of the bonds to begin with is 103,803. That's what we just calculated. That's the value of the bond. So then for our first cash payment after six months, well, the cash payment is calculated using our contract rate. The 6% times 100,000, but it's just for six months, so we cut that in half, 
and we get $3,000. The interest expense, we calculate this using the market rate because that's the true interest rate. So the market rate is 4%, but once again, it's just for six months in this example, remember, because this is semi-annual. So when you're doing homework, you've got to realize if it's annual, you don't need to do anything with that interest rate. You keep it at 4%. But in this example, it's semi-annual payments, so we need to cut that interest rate in half to 2%. So we're going to take the 2%, multiply that by the current bond value, which is $103,803. So 2% times that gets us $2,076. So that's our interest expense, but we're paying more. We're paying $3,000. So then the difference between those is the amount that we're going to amortize this premium. So that's $924. So the premium was $3,803, but now it's going to come down to $2,879. So then our new bond value will be $102,879. And then in period two, period three, period four, they would all follow that same calculation pattern that we just did. So you're going to want to go through this several times. It makes perfect sense, but it is confusing. So make sure that you spend the time looking at this example. And once again, if you're still kind of confused here, please go back to the previous video because that one can really explain in more detail what a bond is, goes into more detail about the interest rates. So at the very end, when this company pays off the bonds, the bonds have a value of $100,000. If you look at that amortization table, it's right there. and so we're going to then debit the bond payable, 100,000, and the cash will be paid out to those investors. So we would credit cash, $100,000, all right? Don't forget that with all these videos, we have notes that go along with these. So you don't need to be struggling and trying to find out, you know, what's going on here. You can look at these notes that have all of these calculations, have all of these uh, uh, pictures, have all these journal entries. So if you're on the website, you can just look right below the video and the notes are there. If you're in YouTube on the playlist, uh, you can look in the description for every video in the description, there'll be a link there to the notes, all right? So it doesn't matter where you are, you can get those notes and they're in PDF form. All right, class, I really hope this video has helped you out. I hope to see you in future videos and please click on our logo to subscribe to our channel.